Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I am continuing my Dimashathon and up next is My Beauty. Now I just came off of, and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna release these and in what order, uh, but I just came off of Dimash's screaming video. So um, if you guys wanna go back and check that out, this is right after the screaming video. So my mind is still percolating back on what I saw there and I, I felt like I gave a very honest, vocal analysis, vocal tutorial, a little bit of a tutorial, and just a vocal reaction to that as I'm going to do with this here. But before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to my channel, that'd be really cool. Uh, I have a singing course, and the course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else, and you can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com. I also have a free singing forum with over 20,000 members, so if you're new to singing or wanna learn how to sing, or if you're an intermediate or even an advanced singer, you can join it for free, talk to 20,000 other people about how my course works and exchange vocal ideas in discussions like this one here. So I'm just going to dive right in. I have not seen this yet. So I wanted to be a little fresh on this without uh, coming in with some predisposition uh, watching it or presupposition. So anyway, with that said, let's, let's rock this thing. My beauty. Okay, right up. It's a setup, right? So we know we're being set up for something. Uh, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> Got the Dimash cat call going on in his own kind of uh, sweet way. Uh, girls are obviously ignoring him, so I'm assuming that he's going to wow them with his talent. That's just what I'm thinking, so let's see what we got here. <laughs> By the way, guys, haven't we all kind of been there at one point or another? <laughs> girls, you too, right? Here we go. Yeah, like I thought, he's gonna, he's gonna wow him with his voice, okay. So it's kind of like Justin Bieber, you know, Justin Bieber like sings to all of his girls before he woos them into his camp. Uh, I guess Dimash is about to do the same thing, here we go. A little dancey. It's got kind of a Daft Punk vibe to it, right? And you know, some some kind of, you know, 70s, early 80s kind of funk, pop, pop funk, right? But it's cool, it's got a nice groove to it. This is, by the way, obviously young Dimash. I've never seen this, so he's really cute, and he's young, and this is probably just a, a, just a, a playful, fun side of Dimash that we get to see. Instead of being so serious with the big arenas, we get to see the playful Dimash that um, I'd love to see more of, actually. So let's continue. <laughs> All right, ladies, how could you resist that? He's so stinking cute. He doesn't even have to sing any high notes yet. He's cute. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know. The song is okay. I like the group. That is such a um, catchy, uh, you know, international pop hook. This is the first time I've heard this, by the way. So it's got this international flavor, and and pretty much like any, it's kind of like an '80s pop song. Like anybody could sing this song, and it'd be popular because the actual tune is pretty catchy. And again, it's got like that Daft Punk. You know, it'd be kind of cool. I want to back this up just for fun as an instrumentalist, and you bass players out there would appreciate this. Wouldn't it be fun if the bass was a little more aggressive and funky like this? Check this out. Bum, 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 gum, 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 gum,
right? Something kind of more funky. But uh. And you have some in excess guitar play. You know, have some kind of a little bit more funk going on to it. I don't know, it's just me. I like things funky. So anyway, shut up, Ken. Let's go ahead and keep keep folks in here. Keep your focus on Dimash. It's a catchy tune. Fun. Uh, that bass screw is pretty cool. Dom, 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 but a bum bum. That's cool. That's pretty fun. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so here's something kind of refreshing. So I just came off of doing Screaming, right? And he did a pop song and, and I made my comments and I know I'm gonna get, you know, whatever comments are I'm, I deserve from what I just talked about Screaming. The thing I like most about this is there's fun in it. He's having a good time. It's honest. It's young, fresh fun, right? Young kid fun. The story is lighthearted. He's trying to attract the girl and he, instead of him trying to, to swooge and wow her with his cat calls from the car, he's like, Check this out, and he's, he's, he's throwing down. Now, the interesting thing is, he's not doing any of his vocal dynamics in this song, and like I talked about in Screaming in the last tune, um, you know, the song itself was a little lackluster. It wasn't all that wow until he started, you know, throwing down and becoming the Dimash that we, we've come to know and love. In this song, he's not doing that at all, but the weight of the song and the energy of the song and everything is being carried by, you know, the concept of the song, the fun of the song, attracting the girl, we've all been there, we relate, all these different things, the funk, the groove, the energy, the, the, young, the young kid band, kind of thing all this plays a really important role in how this song is sold so uh, I think that's really cool another one rides the bus another one rides the bus Okay. I have no idea what he's saying, and I probably should, I shall fly to your side, whatever. I should have been reading the lyrics along because I have no idea what he's saying. But guys, haven't we all kind of been there? We're trying to get the girl and we're trying to find what skill set we have that's going to impress her. Is it gonna be humor? Is it gonna be singing? Are we a motorcyclist? Are we a surfer? Uh, do we paint? Like what What talent do we have that's going to attract this girl to get her, to, to stop and get her attention to get her into our lives, right? And I'm sure girls, you feel that same way about guys, right? So anyway, so that's another thing I like about the playfulness of this that's, that's cute. Oops, here we go. <laughs> All right, so there's the Dimash. So like Get Lucky, Jap Punk. I think she looks too old for him. What do you think? <laughs> Come on, girl. Stop and take a look. What are you doing taking off, man? These guys are working hard. What are you doing, man? Get back over here and watch these guys play. What the heck? Like a flower, like a flower. Deep in my heart, shall I know, keep you. Love those notes. All right, 
So the ending, now, my last thoughts and comments on this. Life story stuff, right? You know, Yoda Ken, Sensei Ken talking. This is a young video of Dimash, right? For you guys out there. And I want to tell you a quick story. So where do you think those girls are now? And look at where Dimash is now because he invested into his talent, into his singing. That's why I have a singing course, right? Because in the end, now Dimash gets to take his pick of whatever girls he wants on his terms because he developed his talent to a point where now he gets to make the call. And these girls are probably sitting in the audience with their phones going like this, whereas they're kind of shining them on here in a, in a funny, playful video, but in reality, in a life. So let me tell you a quick, quick, funny story. So when I was younger, as you guys know, most of you know, guitar was my first instrument. And I was invited to all kinds of parties and, and, and all kinds of, you know, whatever dances and this and that, whatever. And I said, no, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna play my guitar. And people just thought I geeked out and I was a soch or I was a loser because I sat in my bedroom and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. So I was shunned by a lot of my peers, a lot of my friends around me, they didn't want anything to do with me because I sat in my room and I practiced and I was kind of a hermit. And so they were all out partying, doing their thing, right? And so how ironic it was, especially the girls that totally shined me on during this time of my life when I was woodshedding in my room trying to be a great instrumentalist, great guitar player, then all of a sudden I started getting asked by a lot of the major local bands at the time if I would play guitar for them. And guess what? Those same girls that shunned me early on were the same girls in the front row of the audience going, look at me, look at me. And I'm just like going on my guitar going, I know what kind of girl you are and you didn't love the real me and believe in me and the real Ken Tamplin. That is life, folks. So it's it's actually one of the reasons I got to be so good is I just said, I'm just gonna woodshed and get great at this because I love it, not because I'm trying to get the girl. I'm not Motley Crue just trying to get the girl. I'm, I'm Ken Tamplin wanting to be good at something and I'm not saying they're not going, ooh, that's so like a disc in a weird sort of way was I actually heard them say that in an MTV interview in Paris France and so if they come back at me and say oh you dissed Motley Crue remind them of that MTV thing no we didn't want to be you know really good at our instruments we just wanted to be rock stars to get the chicks I heard it straight out of their mouth so anyway before you guys you know get mad at me for saying that but anyway so um, this honing in your craft is a way for singing to express yourself like no other art and no other craft. So with that said guys, check out my next video.